Pabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today at magkasama na ang magkapatid na si Darv at si Jesse de Yondon. Hi, Jesse! Hello! <laughs> thank you for coming to Kababayan uh, Today. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so I was talking to Darv and Darv was telling me that you guys mm -hmm. uh, were separated growing up, right? Yeah. Uh, tell me about your experience coming to America when you were nine. Oh, um, it was it was similar to what he said. It was a culture shock, so everything that I thought America was like Disneyland. Yeah, it was it was it was really different. You know, um, coming from the Philippines, this is not. You know, the roads aren't as structured, and the buildings and everything. Gotta follow rules yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there's pressurized water here, <laughs> so the toilets actually flush, yeah. and the showers actually <laughs> work. <laughs> yeah. So that was a, it was a change. It was a change. Yeah. Okay. Well. Both of you are here now, mm -hmm. and uh, your family is also here. Yes. Uh, Lolo is here as well. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so talk to us about spending time with the family all together now that you're all here in America. Darv? Uh, <coughs> you know, it, it's funny you say that because we're adults now, so we, we kind of go about our own. We like mm -hmm. to go gallivanting. Yes, gallivanting. <laughs> yes, as my parents would say. but <laughs> Always gallivanting. <laughs> I think we always try to make time to like have dinner with one, with each other. Mm -hmm. Maybe like on Sundays, sometimes after church, we you know go out for a family dinner. Or there's always family parties, so okay. we join everyone then. So. So Dar, do you remember at what age did you identify with being queer? Oh, okay. I mean, being queer was just recently, after learning what the word was. Right. Um, but I I've known I was different maybe back when I was six. Um, you know, I found attraction in someone in the same sex, but I didn't completely understand what that was. Right. It wasn't at a later age I learned the term being gay, and that's what I associated myself with for a long time. Okay, did you come out to your family uh, right away? No, I didn't. I was very fearful um, of, you know, what they had to say. I'm very family oriented, so whatever anything my family has to say really affects me. Mm -hmm. So I was scared. And, you know, also being in high school, I was also scared of, like, even more bullying. Yeah. You know, here You're I am. You're not alone, Hadarv. A no. lot. A yes. lot of people yes. are scared to come out. Yes. And especially to their family, uh -huh. which you would think, you know, they would be the first support group mm -hmm. to, to encourage you to be who you are, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse, do you remember when your brother uh, <laughs> was able to tell the family? You know, I think... I remember it loosely, but I think it was really informal. I, do, do you remember? I, I don't. I don't. I, it wasn't a big deal. I, yeah, it wasn't. I think um, I was probably in my room, and I think he just came in and he said, "Like, hey, I have to tell you something." And then I was like, "Okay." And then he was like, "Oh, um, well, I, I'm I'm gay." And I was just like, "Okay." <laughs> it was, no big deal, it was, right? It was, it, was, it was not a big deal. So I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's so nice to hear that from yeah. a family member because <laughs> even till today, people have a hard time telling oh, yes. their families. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important that we talk about this mm -hmm. because this is something that we as a culture don't openly express. Correct. Right? And I want to be able to encourage people to accept yeah. mm -hmm. and allow people to really reach their full potential, yes. right? Okay, well, thank you so much, Jesse, for being here and supporting your kuya, oh, or ate, or, <laughs> or uh, kuya te. Yeah. Kuya te, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and I know that, you know, it's Thanksgiving, so maraming maraming salamat sa inyo at sa lahat ng LGBTQ community. If you want to reach out to Barangay LA, please tell us where they can do that. Um, you can send us an email at mm -hmm info at barangayla.org mm -hmm. or you can find us on Facebook uh, Barangay LA we have all our events up there mm -hmm. um, we do have an event coming up in December our winter party so if anyone's interested check out our Facebook page wonderful and I'd also like to thank Kimler Gutierrez for helping me get in touch with Darv as well as Carmini maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat and thank you so much for watching Kababayan today we'll see you all again next time bye bye